Greetings from St. Paul. My name is Christine Berger and I am the Vice President of Governmental Relations. Today is a very important day up at the State Capitol. The Commissioner of Finance will be releasing the latest budget proposal and the latest budget estimates for the next two, the next two years for the state's budget. Uh, the last release came back in November and it showed that the state had a deficit of $4.8 billion. This is a very large problem. Uh, depending on how you calculate it, it equals 14 to 20 percent of the state's general budget. So trying to fill this hole with either cuts or tax increases will, will be the issue for the next few months. As I said today, the next estimate will be coming out. Uh, at this point, we don't know what it is, so stay tuned for information on that, probably on your evening news. The, <clears throat> thus far, the focus of the legislature has been primarily on energy issues and not on how to solve the budget deficit. Heather Mavenkamp will be talking to you about what the legislature has been focusing on in her uh, video podcast. I will be uh, talking to you today about <clears throat> the tax policy ideas in light of the current state budget deficit. Back in 2008, Governor Pawlenty came up with a, created a 20, the 21st Century Tax Reform Commission. It was a panel of 15 uh, business people throughout the state of Minnesota with experience in business taxation and the economy. Um, the point or the focus of the, of the commission was to evaluate the current tax structure in Minnesota and to put an emphasis on reforming business taxation. The, the commission met over the following uh, summer, fall, and winter and have re just recently released their report. Back in the fall when there was some discussion and rumors that they were, might be considering a sales tax on services, Heather Mavenkamp and myself testified in front of the panel um, telling them that extending the sales tax onto services, particularly real estate services, would be detrimental, especially at this time in the economy. Well, the commission came out with their final report to the legislature, their recommendations on how to reform the current tax structure with an emphasis on business taxation. And the, re the report had uh, four central themes. The first theme was to reduce business uh, tax burdens. The second theme was to increase transparency within the tax structure. <clears throat> the third theme was to uh, promote investments and innovation. And the fourth theme was to pay for the reform. Now, besides uh, proposing to eliminate the corporate income tax, there are three main recommendations that realtors need to be aware of. The first one that is important is they propose to exempt 20% of business income uh, from taxation, and that would be for S-Corps, for partnerships, and for LLCs. Um, <clears throat> this would provide uh, these groups, S-Corp partnerships and LLCs, the means and incentives for creating and adding jobs in Minnesota, and uh, would then exclude 20% of income allocated to shareholders, partners, and members. The second policy that realtors need to be aware of or would take interest in is their proposal to simplify the property tax system. Currently, the state of Minnesota has 51 different property type classifications. The, the panel recommended to reduce the 51 down to four, basically residential, agricultural, and low commercial industrial, and high-end commercial industrial. And then the third thing that realtors really want to pay attention to is they did indeed propose in their, in their report to the legislature to expand the sales tax base onto services. Um, they did not um, specify in their report what services should be taxed, if it should be all or just some. Uh, and they did not include in their recommendation the taxing businesses to businesses, so business services to business services. They did, they did exclude that. <clears throat> but it's yet to be seen uh, what, what sales tax or what services will be taxed. Uh, the legis this is just a report, and the legislature will take it into consideration. No bills have been introduced at this point to expand the sales tax base to services, but we have heard from both the House and Senate that a proposal is coming. 
We will then uh, examine this proposal when it finally comes out and we will see if real estate services are indeed taxed. Um, we are educating members at the, at the legislature that a, a sales tax on real estate services is detrimental, especially when the marketplace is where it's at. We have uh, <clears throat> so many services involved in a transaction that it would just be uh, very expensive to purchase real estate and detrimental to the industry. Uh, the governor had mixed reaction to his own commission's report. He was in favor of the repeal of the corporate income tax. However, he did have mixed feelings about the expansion of the sales tax based on the services. Um, as I said, this is not in bill form yet, but uh, proposals will be coming out and we will be on top of them. Uh, stay tuned for further information from St. Paul. Thank you.